Okay, so this is Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, just come out and uh, it's available on the Raspberry Pi, but for the first time, the 64-bit OS is recommended for a two gig Pi. I'm currently running on my eight gig Pi and I'm using an SSD drive, uh, but the reason this can be recommended for a two gig Pi is because it uses ZSwap, which is a very clever usage of RAM. So I figured I'd try it on my one gig Pi 4. So I haven't done anything to it, I haven't overclocked or anything like that. Uh, so let's shut this one down and let's swap it all over. Ubuntu definitely shuts down quicker than it used to. It used to take ages. And I'm going to pop my Pi Moroni fan shim on it just in case I do any overclocking. And let's switch on. My Pi Moroni fan shim doesn't work at all now unless I put this little SD card adapter in between. Now it's spinning up. Okay, so let's log in. Okay, so I was going to do this in real time, but uh, it's taken ages to log in. I don't know why it's struggling at this point. I hope it's doing something. Okay, so that took quite a while. Uh, so let's have a look. Let's open a few things up and have a look and see how well it performs. Now, it's usually the web browser that trips things up, so I'm going to leave that for a second and just open Files. Uh, we'll open LibreOffice Writer and maybe the App Store and see what happens. So nothing's appeared on screen at the moment. I'll try and leave this bit in real time. Oh, my mouse has stopped working. I'm moving my mouse pointer, and as you can see, there's big gaps left behind. It's coming back, so there's the files. But remember, I've got two more things. Uh, so there's LibreOffice trying to, trying to open up, and I have opened LibreOffice once before because I did this just now, but it, it did take a while, so I figured I'd do it again. Uh, yeah, the mouse pointer is just stopping completely, and I didn't have that at all on my 8 gig Pi. Um, so it is definitely a RAM thing that's, that's oh, it really is just horrible to use. Yeah, I'm going to abandon this bit. Well, let's wait for the App Store to come up. Is the App Store going to come up? I've been waiting quite a while and it's still not even showing. My mouse pointer is back. Oh, there you go. It's got a little dot beside it. So maybe this is it trying to manage uh, on the low amounts of RAM. Oh, the App Store's come up and is all right now. So let's switch back between folders, LibreOffice, and also the App Store. Well, that seems to be working. But if I try and drag it, anything like that, it seems to not light. If I click on games, uh, I do find the App Store a bit slow on Ubuntu anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not an operating system you want to use on a one gig Pi. Now remember, this isn't recommended for the one gig Pi. This is supposed to work well on the two gig Pi, which is twice the amount of RAM, which can transform a system. Um, but uh, the reason the one gig Pi came back, because it was discontinued at one point, was that uh, the Raspberry Pi Foundation wanted to hit that $35 uh, price point for a Pi, and that's why we have a one gig Pi. And it's absolutely great for maker stuff. It's actually very good for some of the retro gaming, but as an operating system, especially a 64-bit operating system, uh, yeah, not so great. So let's just close these bits down. Yeah, even, even closing that down, uh, it's just not doing anything. So I'm not going to overclock yet. Uh, let's just have a look and see about the Z-Swap because uh, we should be able to find out from command line dot text if it's enabled, which I've read that it definitely is in this version. So boot, firmware, Ubuntu puts config.txt and command line.txt in a different location. So here we see command line.txt. That wasn't too slow. Uh, so ZSwap enabled. So we know that ZSwap is enabled on this. So it's going to be running better than it would have before. And in fact, it already feels a bit better. Let's just open files, rhythm box, and writer again. Is it going to go slow again? Yeah, and the mouse pointer stops. Okay, so I'm going to shut this down and I'm going to move over to a 2 gig Pi because, yeah, it isn't very pleasant to use. Trouble is I've got to wait for all that to start up before I can shut it down. So let's shut this down and boot up in a 2 gig Pi. I think this is a 2 gig Pi in my DeSalvo case. It certainly started up a lot quicker. Oh, okay, it's a 4 gig Pi. Uh, not quite sure where my 2 gig Pis are, so I'll have to go looking for them. I've got two of them somewhere. Pretty sure this is one in my DeskPi Pro case. So let's have a look at settings and see what we've got. Already feels a bit faster even just doing that. So yeah, two gig. So actually I used this DeskPi Pro case in my previous, it was Ubuntu 2110, 
where I enabled ZSwap and it went from being unusable to being usable. Not, not brilliant, um, but, uh, but way better than we've ever had before. Um, so let's open a few more things up. So files, rhythm box, and maybe the app store and LibreOffice. And let's see if it copes better. It's already definitely moving faster. You can see that everything it's doing, uh, it's not struggling in the same way. If I press the Windows key, uh, it gives me all the windows that are open at the moment. And I've just found out that if I press the Windows key twice, it gives me all the apps, uh, which I didn't know was on this system. Uh, so say I wanted Minds, uh, I can open that up. I've got those things open. In fact, I've got two versions of LibreOffice open. Uh, or is it just that it's this tips? Yeah, maybe it's these tips. Yeah, it is. Um, and things like snapping the windows around uh, is really nice. Actually, the App Store opened pretty quick. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, actually. Uh, so I haven't opened the web browser, and that's because the web browser tends to be really slow, um, but uh, but we'll give it a go anyway. So yeah, snapping is, is working really nicely. Uh, so press the Windows key again, and let's start shutting a few of these things down, and then we'll open the web browser. But yeah, that feels pretty good actually. So I'm gonna leave uh, LibreOffice Writer open, and I'm gonna open Firefox and see what happens. So we've got a spinning wheel. As I say, Firefox tends to be quite slow on less RAM. Same with Chromium, to be fair. Uh, it's only Puffin that I found great performance on, um, and that actually works well on the Raspberry Pi Zero. I still kind of would recommend the 32-bit version of Raspberry Pi OS uh, with Puffin browser on a one gig Pi, possibly still on a two gig Pi. When you get to the four gig Pi, Ubuntu's run well for a while. Yeah, low RAM is, is not ideal. Right, so let's have a look at this. 1080 wallpaper. And we'll just download an image and put it into Writer and just see, just see if it's usable. Yeah, the web browser feels all right, to be fair. Uh, so we'll just go with this one and see where that opens up. Sometimes you click on wallpapers and it doesn't really give you the 1080 image you're looking for. So it's going to show up on the right hand side. Yeah, it is a bit sluggish. So this compared with Puffin browser on Raspberry Pi OS, uh, installed with Pi apps is, is very different as an experience. So again, as I just, yeah, look, 553. Uh, I wonder if I click on it, it might give me a 1080 option. HD City wallpapers. So, yeah, it is going a bit slow. So it's usable. So if I click on that now, is that going to be 1080? It doesn't tell me on there. So let's hit save. Save to new board. What is this? <laughs> okay, so let's try something else. 1080 wallpaper. I just want an image. Uh, to download, so let's go with that one. Hopefully it's not going to be from the same site. Again, thinking about it. Okay, so it's not 1080, but I'm just going to download that one anyway. I'll just save that. Uh, so save image as. Still waiting, I'll do this in real time. You probably hear my cat in the background. So let's go for, oh, and we have a, and my mouse is frozen, okay. I think it's, I think it's frozen. Let's hit enter. Okay, no, it has frozen. So um, I don't know why that's frozen. Okay, so Firefox crashed. Okay, so web browser performance, still not great. And uh, yeah, my mouse, my mouse point is still not working. Okay, so I've restarted, and uh, but I think I'm going to switch from doing two gig Ubuntu because I already did 21.10, and uh, I found it was okay. I didn't have those crashes before, but uh, this was currently running from an SSD drive. Just as a comparison, I'm going to run Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit from an SD card, so considerably slower storage. Back in my 1 gig Pi 4, because I'm confident this will run pretty well, because it runs well in a Pi Zero 2W. I'm running at a lower desktop resolution, it's 720, and I've also installed ZRAM, 
and also the Puffin browser. So really this is the sort of operating system you should be running on a one gig Pi 4 and maybe even a two gig Pi 4 as well. So let's open a few things up. So folder, uh, terminal, Puffin browser, PyKiss, text editor, and you can see, I don't know what happens if I press the Windows key, I don't think it does anything. No, it just comes up with the system tools. So say I'll start Gparted as well. But you can see that, uh, I'll just log into this. You can see that everything comes up really quite snappy. So all the icons that are here, folder, terminal, Puffin, it just is really snappy and really fast to use. And even if I leave things, oh, that's the wrong password. So it's probably Raspberry. I probably haven't changed it on this system. Oh no, I don't know what it is on that one then. So let's leave that one. Uh, so if I go back to uh, Puffin Browser, and just to show how responsive Puffin Browser is. Uh, so this is cloud-based, uh, and that's why uh, it doesn't use very much resources, and it just works really snappily. So let's go on this one, and we'll try uh, BBC Sport, and then Hot UK Deals. And it is just, just a pleasure to use it. it. Considering this is on such low hardware specs, uh, it, it copes really, really well and feels really snappy. Uh, and just switching back between things, you can see that it's not struggling at all there. So I would say, still at this stage, 64-bit operating systems are just a bit too much for two gig of RAM. Uh, maybe we'll get around it another way and it's great to see uh, the people at Ubuntu making this work on a 2 gig Pi but I think that overall in the real world for what's better to use uh, I would say it would be this 32-bit operating system with the Puffin browser but then it depends what you're doing. I really like the way that Ubuntu deals with file management and uh, I find it very compatible with lots of things so uh, you know there's definitely a place for it i don't like the way that raspberry pi os deals with its desktop environment not particularly a fan of uh, of the taskbar and the way it works i really do prefer uh, as i've shown in another video kde works brilliantly but that uses more resources now it's fine on a four gig or an eight gig pi but on a two gig or a one gig Pi, especially with the 64-bit version, again, it goes really slow. So for a one gig and a two gig Pi, I'm gonna to stick to this setup. And uh, if you wanna know how to set this up, have a look at this video. Uh, it was really for a Pi Zero 2W, but I think it definitely applies, uh, well, 100% it applies to the one gig. Maybe not the two gig Pi, you might not need to go quite this far, um, but 64-bit is, is a little bit more difficult to run on such low RAM. So 2204 on a four gig and an eight gig Pi works absolutely fine. I would definitely, definitely recommend it. I have got another video on 22.04 Ubuntu coming up on the CADUS Vim 4 because it's the only Linux operating system that's currently supported on it. Uh, the old version they had, which was 20.04, wasn't good, but 22.04 on Wayland runs incredibly well on the Vim 4. So that'll be coming up probably in about a week's time or so. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.